Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Stocks go up, stocks go down. Then we see very nice day yesterday. Got to go in, got to go out. Can't hope on stuff and just wait and wait and wait. Trade them, trade them, trade them. Okay, uh, just make sure you can hear me. Kind of strange stuff when I dialed in today is a little bit different. So just make sure you can hear me. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. Anything? Yes. Okay, good. Great. Uh, so, interesting day. Smart day. So, yesterday we were like, okay, market wants lower, market wants lower, nothing's going great. My, and uh, and then five minutes before open, Micron comes out. And this is why you listen to CNBC and other stuff. They tell you somebody upgraded Micron saying that the memory glut is over. Now, don't know if it's true or not, but you knew if that was true and they believed it because Micron was up, then land research was going to pop five. You just knew it. So we bought land research right away at 350 and went to 450, up a dollar within, I don't know, 15 seconds. And then NVIDIA was way down. And what I did is I waited for the three point pop. And as soon as that happened, I bought NVIDIA. I said, going to be hard to break with this memory thing. So about those are 350 And they rock it to $8 plus, and Lamb Research goes to $7 plus. They're both a double. And I was at one-tenth size, but these I bought more because they were cheap. They were cheap, and I said, if this is based on news, I want to get in and out. And, and if you buy like 10 you probably don't get out at $1,000 when you're used to making 10 or 50 so I bought more, and I had both of them immediately went up, and I had them both immediately ready to sell if they went negative. I was going to sell them both at negative, okay? So they kept going up, kept going up, so I sold them both. So now we ended up making 48000 on those, but the whole week is free. I mean, Lily, you're sitting on Lily now, and how many you got? You, you got like ten grand in Lily, right? You bought some lamb research, you put, you know, 10 grand back in. You're just sitting there. And video is only a dollar. You very small of trade. So now you're in with, say, 30 grand and you're up 48 for the week. That's it. And you're just sitting there and the week can't be bad. So now you're just going to sit there and wait and wait and wait and wait till the next set of news. Now, news is coming tomorrow on Powell, right? Big, big news. So a couple of things today you want to watch. Microsoft hit 340 or Friday, Thursday, and came straight down. And Oracle, everybody, Oracle says cloud is great, goes lower. Adobe says everything is great. We're a great company. We're, we're going to raise rates. We're charging people more money. We're ripping everybody off. It goes lower. Microsoft, just... Think about the stuff that people haven't said on Microsoft. They charge $100 for Excel, Word, all that stuff. 118 now. They raised it. And they're going to go to add another $30 to each subscription. Now, first of all, they're not going to get that. Now, I'm hearing, I, I, I was thinking, okay, 50% of the people get it. Now, I, I'm hearing that Microsoft is aiming for 20% of the people to get it. 20%. One-fifth. Okay? This is the Netflix problem that Netflix CEO has wrong. This is the problem with the world. This is the problem with Chipotle. This is the problem with McDonald's. This is the problem with all these people that don't understand marketing 101. Okay? They're going to price it at $30. Now, the first thing, if they go to Texas Instruments, because I used to be at Texas Instruments, and we used to pay these people a lot of money, right, uh, for these contracts. Texas Instruments isn't going to pay market rates. They're going to get 30% to 40% off. If they do a five-year deal, they're going to get 50% off. So they're going to be paying $15, okay? Why wouldn't you come out at $10 on this and say, I want 50% of the people to get it? That means you're getting 30% more than what you expected. Is your 
your money more or less. I would say it's more. I would say it's more. I'm telling you, I, I, I showed you this thing on, on uh, AMC movie theaters. Strike and Reel, which is a mile and a half away from AMC where I live. Okay? Strike and Reel is doing $6 and $7 tickets before 6 And AMC is at $14. They're double. They're double. You go into AMC, and there's very good odds that you're one of two or three people in the whole theater. One or two people paying the $14. You go to Strike and Reel, and it's halfway full. They're making the same money or more. See, these guys don't get this. Netflix doesn't get this, okay? So just know, Netflix, when it breaks, 381. Remember Netflix was at 500, 700, it started diving, had two bad quarters in a row, went to 180? Careful on Microsoft. They're, they're saying, we're going to go tell you all about AI, this conference that's going to come on the 21st. If they don't introduce Copilot 300 on tap, they're going to pummel it. They're going to pummel it. If they announce Copilot, probably go to 341. Okay? NVIDIA. NVIDIA up, SCMI down. SCMI should be going up. NVIDIA should be going up. But doesn't mean they do, and we don't really care if they do now. Because we've made our money for the week. Okay? But you got Powell, and then you got news. Okay? You got another IPO today. You had Apple doing okay. You want to see what happens. And the market doesn't know. And I think they're going back to the dot plot tomorrow. So if they show no rate cuts all the way through 2024, even if he does nothing, the market may go lower. Just understand this. If you understand this, you're okay. But Netflix now, on every huge pop, is a short. Okay. That's what we know. That's what we know. Okay. Uh, Microsoft may pop into their event, but that's after. That's after. And NVIDIA, huge reversal. I mean, the people that are stock buyers can buy this stock with a 420 stop, hard stop, 420, 4, 419, somewhere like that. Because if it breaks that, it's probably 403. If it doesn't, it goes back up. But in theory, it's trying to go back up. Let's see, let's see. We'll probably sell out of these uh, NVIDIAs and Lamb Research pretty fast, too. That's the market you have. Just because you used to take things and you put in ten grand and you make a hundred grand, that's not the market you have today. And the one other thing that always hurts people, I'm telling you, I don't care. Where, there's a, there's a preview for GameStop. The guy says, the wife says, "Oh my God, you did good. Yeah, I made four million today." Then she asks him the next, "How much you make today?" We made five million. She's like, "Oh, we're rich, right?" And then the next part of the preview says. How much did you lose today? I lost a billion. The next day, because how much did you lose? I lost another billion. That's the market, but that's human nature. If you have a fifty thousand dollar account and you go to one fifty and you don't move half of it out, and you go back to fifty, I'm just telling you, ninety nine out of a hundred people back at fifty are doing a trade five x the size that they should. They just are. And I know that's you, because that's human nature. We try to get all our money back. If you're down five grand in Vegas the last day, you're trying to get that five grand back. You're not trying to get back 200. You're trying to get back five grand. You just do. That's, so to understand that. So but that's different. That's why you move half of it out and you go slower. When Sam says one-tenth size, one fifth size. Usually, think about Lamb Research. I would have bought 300 of those yesterday. NVIDIA. I mean, what did we buy? 50. I would have bought 300 of those at 420. And I only bought 50. So still one sixth size. Very, very small size. But trade in, trade out. And, and wait till the news comes. And wait till something moves. Today, Lily. Very, very interesting on Lily. Go back. Go pull up a six-month chart 
I don't you don't use I don't use charts, but you can go look at this one. This is interesting. In six months, Lily has only gone down four days in a row once, and then yesterday it happened again. So in six months, four days in a row it was down twice. Never has it gone down five days in a row in the last six months. Today is day five. Think about that. And yesterday we told you if Lily breaks, it's going back to 551. Absolutely. So here's the problem with Lily. And I don't know if they solved it yet, but they don't have enough product. They can't sell enough. Kind of like NVIDIA. They don't have enough product. So if they don't have enough product and they come out at earnings and say it's going to take us two more quarters to to be able to provide more product, then it's probably down at 520, 510. If they've got more product, then it's probably at 650. So I don't know what's going on, but it hasn't dropped five days in a row. But here's the more important part on Lilly, guys. This is more important. How come nobody's come to protect it? When the stock's at 600 and goes to 590 and it has this great business, it should have got an upgrade. At 580, it should have got an up upgrade. At 570, today, it should get an upgrade. There's no upgrade. There's no upgrade. What does that mean? That means they're going to let it drop to... 540, 550, 530. I don't know. We bought it yesterday for, because I bought it because of the four day thing. It hadn't gone down five days in six months. It just hadn't. It always bounces. And you were up a little bit. You're up 50 cents, but not a lot. You're not down a lot here. You're down a dollar. Not a big deal. But today it needs to bounce. If it gets that fifth down day, a lot of people are going to throw in the towel, and they may take it, wipe it way down to 540, 530, okay? So just understand this. Understand this. And that's the market we have. Uh, one other thing, Carvana. It's trading wrong. It can't get through 58, and it's trading wrong. If this strike goes on for a month plus, all car prices, used car prices, are going to be up 20%. Now, nobody's saying it's going to go on that long, but it can. And if it does, you just have to be prepared. But it's trading wrong. So if it's trading wrong, when these things start trading wrong, you have to understand. Something is wrong. Something is different. And when that happens, you can't attack. You can only attack on days you get news, like yesterday. Today, I don't see news. So I'm not attacking. Just kind of sitting there. Okay? That's what we know. Okay, good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, 919, stocks go up, stocks go down. SPX up one in no man's land. Uh, you got 4472, 4491, uh, 4439, 4409, 4381 on a collapse. Avago, doing nothing. So I went back and looked in the conference call and all that stuff. They say the deal is going to be done October 31st. That means China should give approval within a month. Is it going to happen? I don't know. He's delayed it two times before. No idea. Now, on a different side, I'm not going to address this, but why do we give a shit if China gives approval? I mean, too bad. Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Just some agreement. Silly, right? Okay. Uh, hold on. So, 589. Uh, 859, 872.881. NVIDIA, 444, 466, underneath 420. Lamb Research, 642, 649, underneath 620. AMAT, 142. Watch AMAT. So yesterday, I hadn't been doing this, but here's, here's, a, here's a tip, guys. When you're buying something that's moving, that's gotten whacked, Lamb Research got whacked, KLA, Lab Research down 100, KLA down 80, AMAT down 12, 15. So you put those on your screen next to each other, Lab Research, AMAT, and KLA. Well, you want to see that they all need to go. You can't just have one thing go or it's not real. So they're all on the screen. 143, 
on AMAT, KLA-471. If both those two pop, then Lamb Research pop can hold. If not, Lamb Research will go down too, okay? Goldman Sachs, 448, 348, 348. Apple, 181. Adobe, 572. BKNG, 3212, way up there. Lily, 576. Meta, 309.316 under 291. Snowman, 163, 172 under 151. Caterpillar, 288. Found out why Caterpillar has been going down. Because I believe that once the strike is over at GM and Ford, they're going to go after Caterpillar. Interesting, right? The same union, the unions are going to go after Caterpillar for more money. So that means Caterpillar will start going down. Carvana, 58, very straightforward. Netflix, 381, 355. Amazon, 144 up, 132 down. SMCI got an upgrade today. 251, 256, under 240. If it closes down on an upgrade, that would be bad. NOW, 600. Microsoft, 326, 319. Tesla, 272. Look, Tesla went up because they talked about this doji and all this other ways they're going to make money. But the margins are going lower still. They're not going higher. So in theory, it's maybe he's right on it, but it's a long way away. Don't force trades. Comments, questions that we know. Everybody have a great turn day. See you, Jack.